I analyzed over 100,000 responses to a survey asking people what options they're gonna choose and all the other details about their Model 3. The average price per month, about 900 bucks. Probably more than you thought, right? Let's dive into the details. Hi, I'm Ben Sullins with Teslanomics, and a couple weeks ago, I launched an online calculator to help you get the overall cost of owning a Model 3, all of the different fees and everything that you would need from insurance and taxes and everything else. On the calculator, you can select all the options you want, add in the taxes, fees, insurance costs, and your driving habits, of course, to get the charging estimate. And in the end, what you get is a detailed estimate of your Model 3 monthly cost. In the first two weeks, over 100,000 times people submitted their choices. And being the data geek I am, I logged all of those so we can go through these details and see what you decided. When it comes to color, almost 50% of you chose black, which is the option that's included. So I'm not sure if you're being cheap or if you really like it. Rounding out the top three, you have the Midnight Silver Metallic and the Deep Blue Metallic. For the wheels, over 60% of you chose the Aero Wheels, which pains me because they are hideous. Okay, well, I'm guessing a lot of you saw the video of how you can actually remove them as they're just hubcaps, and underneath is a decent looking wheel. So that's gonna be a good option for a lot of folks, plus it saves you 1500 bucks on the sport wheels. So far, both choices have been a bit on the more economical side, we'll say. And that made me a bit surprised when I saw that the majority, almost 60% of you, wanted to upgrade to the premium package, which adds $5,000 to the cost. When it comes to the battery, I was surprised to find, though, that the majority of you want the standard option, which is just 220 miles of range, versus the long range option, which is 310 miles. I understand that it's $9,000 more for the upgrade, so that's fair. But as someone with a Model S that gets just 200 miles on a charge, I can attest that I wish I had went bigger. And when it came to autopilot, I was really surprised that nearly 50% of you don't even want the basic convenience features. You chose no autopilot at all. For me, that was surprising because honestly, if you're okay without this, you might be able to find a used Model S for cheaper than your Model 3 and get it a lot sooner. 75% of you listed 60 months or five years as your loan term, which makes sense, with just over 10% of you listing 72 months or six years, which is a bit lower than I had anticipated. One note on this is that you can often get a lower interest rate if the terms are shorter, but we'll see what options Tesla offers once they actually release the configurator to us. For driving, both Europe and the US reported an average daily commute of 40 miles. In the future, I'm gonna add a option here for kilometers just to make sure it's more accurate and people weren't just defaulting to what was already there. Adding all of those choices up plus an average interest rate of 4.5% tax of just about 8%, a down payment of 5,000, which includes your $1,000 initial deposit, you're looking at a monthly cost of just under $900. That breaks down to $736 in the payment, about $35 a month in charging, and $120 of insurance costs. Now there are still a couple of options that are missing here, notably the all wheel drive and performance options. I left those out because Tesla hasn't put out any official pricing on them yet, but you can get on our email list at teslanomics.co slash join, and I'll make sure to update you as soon as I add them, which is just waiting on them to release the final pricing details. I'm curious how your results of using the calculator compare to the average ones here. Leave me a comment down below. And remember, when you free the data, your mind will follow. Thanks for watching.